to another Quantum Creativity Show. I'm your host, Santara Green, and uh, with me today is my wife, Sarah Green. Um, she's willing and able to talk about her latest book, which is The Real Art of Transformation. So welcome to the show, Sarah. Yay, thrilled to be back again with Quantum <laughs> Creativity. <laughs> yes, how can we keep you away? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, this is just on the eve of your uh, trip to the States, and you're going to be doing a few workshops there, and uh, I'm sure you'll be putting into practice the real art of transformation. Mm -hmm. But uh, perhaps you can start off by telling us um, what inspired you to, to write the book and create this body of work. Well, as you know, you know we've been doing this for 18 years now. Um, I did get passionate about transformation about 25, 30 years ago and have spent a lot of time studying it. But in the last 18 years, we've been developing our own access to that. So, uh, and, and over the years, I have taught coaches how to be visionary coaches using the art of transformation. But uh, just this, this April, just I guess we're still in it. No, we're in May now, aren't we? So it's um, May 2014. So in April, April 1st to 21st, I did a 21-day Facebook event called The Real Art of Transformation, Transforming Yourself, Transforming Your Life, Transforming Your World. And it's the first time ever I've written a book a half an hour a day in three weeks and had it on Kindle two days after that was complete. <laughs> so that was a real accomplishment. <laughs> Turn yeah, it was amazing to turn it around that fast. Um, really, I guess for me, a lot of people talk about transformation, but mostly they mean, a lot of them are really meaning trying to get over your issues, trying to be a better person, trying to fulfill your potential, and the real art of transformation is way past that. It's actually about becoming the fullness of who you really are, the, all of your beingness, you know, your greater being, your deeper being, your inner being, all of it, um, and really setting out to fulfill possibilities that you may not have ever considered that you could do before. So it really is, a, I call it a metamorphic adventure into the possibilities of you and us. So that's the it's, tagline, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's the tagline. So it does start, the 21-day adventure does start with some very basic stuff about who are you and how do you find that and how do we grow ourselves, etc. But in week two, it looks at um, transformative abilities like knowing and seeing and listening and, and the ability to energetically transform, to be a catalyst, to be an alchemist, etc. And week three swings way out there and it's about becoming the living force. You know, as in, may the force be with you from Star Wars. And um, so it really is, once you become the living force, you see everything from a different place and you engage with people from the limitless possibilities of them. So the starting point is everyone's a genius, everyone is an amazing being with a contribution to make and then from there you're catalyzing them, alchemizing them into the limitless possibilities of themselves and how that shows up practically in their lives. So that's the the book, the 21 days in a nutshell. <laughs> do you, when you're writing that, do you have any particular um, thoughts in mind about who these people are who are ready to transform? Because some people will be ready to transform. Take, let's say, an imaginative leap um, into considering themselves completely different about who they've already known themselves to be. So this um, adventure about um, unwrapping the layers of possibility um, and seeing who you may become next. Um, is that something, who is it really intended for? What are these people looking like and what are they themselves looking for? Well, that's a great question. I, I do think it can be for anyone that everyone, I believe everybody wants to become better, wants to transform, wants to fulfill their potential, wants to do great things for the world. You know, maybe that's not true and there's some people who just want to watch TV, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay too. Good for them. Maybe that's part of their fulfillment of their potential to live a great life, you know, that's okay too. But there really is a group of people on the planet today who 
I believe are fulfilling the potential of the human race to grow, to evolve, to become something we've never been before. So one of my visions is around unleashing the genius in seven billion geniuses so we can create, co-create a genius world. And and I think the real art of transformation is for people who really want to play in that game. They want to play with creating the new for the world. They want to, to play in possibility unfolding for themselves, for others, for their lives, for the planet, um, and beyond. And some of them I would call, you know, um, cosmicious mystery creators. <laughs> I suppose it's all those levels. It's, but it is very practical at the same time. It's not all like way out there. It's very much about being here, fulfilling yourself, living beyond who you thought you could be, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it, it's an exciting journey, I believe. And the people who engaged with it in April on the Facebook event, they loved it. <laughs> and they did report that just engaging like that in that conversation for 21 days their lives were quite transformed at the end of it and their genius was more naturally in flow for them. So good stuff can come from it. In my uh, experience, you don't just read something. Um, if it's of any worth whatsoever, you have some sort of feel for what it, it, it pushes you towards mm -hmm. so that you engage and you have a relationship with um, what beckons to you, what you feel stirs you. So with the real art of transformation, I guess, is you don't just read the book uh, or do a few examples, but you actually engage um, this feeling of, of what's stirring in you. Let's just put it like that. And then you embody that completely, mm -hmm. that it is um, not just a change in your way of thinking, but you feel differently about living. So yes. therefore, there's a different energetic charge in the way that you live your life. Would you say that that is something which um, people would should be prepared to to meet? That they're going to not just read something, but they're going to embody perhaps um, something that energetically they've always wanted to embody. I can imagine that somebody listening to you say that might go, oh. Well, how would you do that if you're reading, you're reading, but it's not really, there's a couple of things about that. One is, in the book, I walk people through energetic exercises, and sometimes, you know, um, you could say visioning exercises, in order to create themselves. They're, they're really creating themselves from possibility. But also, they are, through the book, engaging with a field, or multiple fields. They're engaging with the field of genius flow. They're engaging with the field of transformation. They're engaging with the field of who and what the human race is becoming. And so just reading the book lets you engage these things and begin to make them conscious, to exhilarate that within yourself. And I find that people who engage with this and these fields come out kind of full of vitality, full of ideas, full of drive, energy, oomph to get things done, to go make a difference in the world. And so I think it's an exhilarating experience. It's not just like reading a normal old book. <laughs> no, I agree. That this is something you, you really feel and you want to have more of. Mm -hmm. um, from that aspect, uh, the people who are doing the 21 days with you, they will probably say that that's true for them. They want to share this and um, feel the, the high vibe and have this to look forward to perhaps um, every day. So yeah. it's not just a one-off experience, it is an ongoing shift and change in fundamentally who you are. Yeah. So let's um, just have a look and uh, see where um, we can find out more information um, about uh, what you're talking about. Well, um, if you go on to Amazon in whatever your country is, so .com in the US and .co.uk in the UK and Australia, etc., all the others, and you just type in Solera Green, The Real Art of Transformation, up will come the book in both Kindle and print. And there it is, Real Art of Transformation on Amazon. And there it is. <laughs> uh, I noticed also there has been a few customer reviews, so 
if I select one, and the um, first one is from Mojing. She says that Solero is calling to the extraordinary alive inside each of us, regardless of how ordinary we may feel. With the enthusiasm of a child and the genius of a butter, she engages us into an adventure of life-changing transformation. Begin to have a real, live relationship with the energy of life itself. Well, that's uh, quite a testimony. Isn't it? I just loved that. I thought that was amazing. So, um, is there anything that you else that you would just want to share about um, the book? And um, well, I'm just heading off to Philadelphia tomorrow, and this week, where Dorothy West and I are leading a course, a two-day course called the Real Art of Transformation in Philadelphia, and then I'm doing one here in July. I think it's July 19th. Um, on the same topic and I'm sure oh I'm also doing a two-day one in Australia in Melbourne in October so you can find all of that on www.thevisionarynetwork.com and on the front page of that website it'll show you what's coming up and you can click the link to the various courses to see what might call to you okay so let's just um, quickly have a look at that one too There we go, the Visionary Network. Yay! <laughs> so, just to order the book, you just uh, click on the link uh, Books for Us, and you go down to the Real Art of Transformation, and uh, as you say, you can um, buy it in Kindle or, or in print from Amazon. Yep. So, as simple as that. Fantastic. Um, it's been great having you on the show with us, Sarah. And, Thank you. Uh, look forward to the next time that you come. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for spreading the word about the real art of transformation. That's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, until the next time, then. Alrighty. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.